I essentially completely forgot that Vita existed and Vita, for those of you who don't, who don't know, is vlog every day April. And how can you vlog every day April if you miss the 1st of April? That's, I'm sorry. But regardless of missing the first day, I'm still going to try and vlog as much of it as I can. Um, today is a gorgeous day. I have to do a bit of college work and stuff. And I'm actually really excited to do Vida um, because there could be a trip to Germany, kind of an impromptu trip to Germany in the middle of it. I also finished college, so there's obviously going to be like my insights about that. And yeah, and the weather is currently quite gorgeous outside. It's way too bright. It's overexposing it. But the weather is gorgeous and yeah, it's a great start to Vida. I guess my excuse for why I forgot to do Vida is that I was recording a cover yesterday and I didn't really look at many things online. And of course, the first Vida, Vida videos, the vlogs from yesterday are only going up today. So it's only today that I'm seeing it and only today that I realized that it was a thing or remembered that it was a thing. So therefore I'm gonna try my best to keep up with it. Fingers crossed it goes well. There's an ice cream truck outside. I'm a little child, so I'm gonna try run to the ice cream truck to make it there before I leave. So I managed to get the ice cream. It's been absolutely ages since I've got a 99 from ice cream van. Brings me right back to my childhood when I lived in Limerick, where the ice cream van used to come around the housing estate. And that's probably not safe, but why is 99? So it's currently half four. I have to head to the city center to collect something from the spire, but um, I'm also gonna take a few videos on my way in because I recorded something kind of cool earlier. It's kind of a video about um, following your passion and I recorded it while like I was playing piano and I was talking over it. So it's kind of a kind of a new direction that I'm gonna do with like, I think it's gonna be every second week or something like that I'm gonna do a video like this, but I have to record video for it now because I didn't have the camera pointed at my face because I didn't really want that. So off we go, Dublin city center. So I'm just home after collecting the books from the Spire. I'm just on my roof at the moment in my house and yeah, amazing sun sunset here at the moment. And if we swing around, we can see like all of Dublin around here. I think the Spire is somewhere along here. I don't know, somewhere over there. I absolutely love coming up here, especially when like the sun's setting like that. And yeah, I'm kind of going to miss it if I do leave or when I do leave. Um, but no, it's always a great place to come up and take pictures or videos. So earlier on I went into the city centre to collect a few books. What actually happened was there's a website here called Adverts which is kind of like our version of Craigslist, the Irish version of Craigslist. And people often give stuff away for free on it. Um, and I happened to see this ad that someone was giving away like a few photography books for free. Um, so I went in to the city centre, I met up with him today to collect them. He was a really cool guy called Boris. Ended up getting the books off him. I thought there was only gonna be like two books, but he's after giving me like one, two, three, four, five, six books. Um, and I always like getting like cheap, cheap photography books because I just like seeing different styles and different ways, different photographers that I've never heard of before um, shoot their pictures. And so anyway, I went in to meet up with him. Turns out he was German. So I ended up chatting to him in German and I was like, hey man, I can't let you give me all these books free. Um, let me at least get you a coffee. So we got a coffee and we ended up chatting about like photography and shit for ages. And it was like, it was pretty cool. And I always love kind of like when you do um, get something off someone on adverts or you sell something to someone on adverts. It's almost like Okay, grand you're selling you're selling something or you're buying something but at the same time You're both obviously people who are passionate about what you're selling or buying so you end up like chatting to them for like half an hour or something 
above whatever you're buying or whatever you're selling, um, which was the case with this. I'm gonna quickly, super quickly go through what there is. This creative and focus, Getty Images, um, Waiting for Light, David Noten, 2016 in focus, I think that's also a Getty Images book. Um, year in focus, I think that's um, 2015's year in focus, um, also Getty Images. Creative in focus, which is also Getty Images. Uh, don't know what year that is. But some pretty cool stuff in that. And then also Panoramic Photography. Just pretty cool, pretty cool books. Um, and I'm really excited to get to look through them. So today has been a pretty cool day. Um, really, really nice weather. And I know that the footage from earlier is a bit shaky. Um, I think I need to learn to stop taking like walking shots of cities um, with this lens because it doesn't work out. This is a really old lens on this camera at the moment. Um, it's like from the 80s. It's a really cool lens but really old lens so it doesn't have any image stabilization or anything like that. So I might actually start shooting like my walking around city videos in 4K on my iPhone 7 instead because that has optical image stabilization um, which I think would really help the quality of those videos so I might start doing that from now on but at the moment I'm just editing uh, I'm gonna try like mess around with different styles of um, LUTs which are like basically like kind of like Instagram filters but for videos um, so I'm gonna mess around with a few of those just to kind of see if I can make a proper style and have a few have a look through some of these books um, really excited to Really excited to look at them because there's some pretty cool awesome stuff in this and maybe I'll get some inspiration. I'm really loving doing more kind of photography stuff at the moment um, especially over on Instagram. I've tried putting up like one picture each day um, which has been kind of going all right. Um, I have a really cool picture that I'm putting up tomorrow which is somewhere here. Yeah that's it if you can see it. It's a really cool picture. I took it on my phone near my house and yeah really excited to put that up um, and absolutely loving putting stuff up on Instagram at the moment. I'm gonna finish editing this. Um, I'm gonna take these clips off the camera and put them on the, on the laptop and I'm gonna finish editing this and after I finish editing that I'm gonna do a bit of college work and then I'm gonna probably go and play GTA for a bit just to kind of wind down and relax. I hope you've enjoyed episode one of Vida. I'm really sorry it is a day late and like I didn't actually record on the 1st of April, but I hope I can make up for it. If you want to see anything in particular, if you want like gear tours or something, let me know because now's the time because I'm gonna try to do a vlog every single day for April. Uh, hopefully it'll be up about the same time every day. And I'm also moving out of this house after April, so if there's anything you want to know, ask me now, because now's the time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy it, then give it a like, share and subscribe. Make sure to check out the playlist for Vida if this is your first time watching any of the Vida videos. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. You're all legends. Bye-bye. By the way, the bye-bye is back. You've all missed it, but the bye-bye is back.